Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video on this new product I just picked up on Amazon by Ultra Toe. And this is the 1500 pound swivel marine jack. Uh, basically, it's similar to this jack right here. I bought at Hubber Freight for like 35 bucks. And this one here was like around, I want to say it's close to 80 to 100. I can't quite remember. But I'll leave a description down below where you can pick this up. Uh, this one has a 1500 pound capacity, like I said, and it has a double rubber plastic uh, tires. Whereas this one, as you guys can see, this thing all busted up, broke apart over a very short period of time. And like I said, I bought this, I bought this at Harbor Freight and it's made by Hallmaster. And this is Ultra Toe. So one nice thing about this particular setup on your trailer is that you can mount it on your front of your frame and then swing it up as you're traveling. So that's kind of nice. This did come with a center, like a triangle stand that goes straight down. But the problem with that is that it hung down quite a bit. So when you go over like a speed bump, it tends to drag on the bottom of that, um, the stock jack. So that's why I got a swivel jack so you can get it up and out of the way. So it kind of looks something like this when it's mounted on your trailer, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to install this real quick. It's real simple. Uh, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket and wrench and it bolts right on. It takes probably less than a few minutes to install. Um, so if you guys are considering something like this, I would highly recommend just going to a little heavier duty swivel stand. And that's thing about this right here, it does have a Zerk fitting. So you can grease up the, the gears in there. And this is all zinc coated, not only on the inside, but on the outside as well. So everything here is zinc coated, so it's not gonna rust. Not to say that this had any issues from Harbor Freight, but just look at the tubing. It just looks, it's just way bigger on this one than it is here. Um, and, and just the material itself, it's just way thicker. Like for example, look at this, uh, the wheel um, housing right here. Look how thin this metal is compared to this guy. It's at least twice the thickness, twice the thickness. See that? Super thick and this is pretty thin. All right. So in the installation uh, kit, you get this little bag of hardware and basically it's this mounting bracket that will get mounted to this guy here. So this will be on the outside. So it's gonna look something like this. Look how beefy this thing looks. It just looks mean. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and has four bolts, the bracket, and it's pretty self-explanatory. First, we're gonna remove all the nuts. And these are Loctite nuts. So you don't need washers and things like that or lock, lock washers, okay? So basically, you're gonna slide this guy. Oops, we'll do the top ones first and, and you'll see why. And the bracket goes this way. You can, you can put it this way or this way, it doesn't really matter. Um, in fact, we'll put it this way, it looks a little nicer. Put the nice finish on the outside. And it hangs like that. Then we're gonna take another bolt on the bottom. Slide it in, oops. Grab yourself a nylon nut. Just kind of hand thread it in there to hold it in place while you get this thing to put together. Okay, grab your second bracket. And okay. And by doing the top here, it just kind of holds the weight of the weight of this jack because it is kind of heavy. And with the open box or whatever wrench on one end and then a ratchet or a screwdriver or you know like a impact wrench on the nut side.
Okay, so once you got this sort of on here, what you want to do is um, take the jack and open it up and close it up. You just want to make sure that you have plenty of clearance as you uh, swivel the jack up so you can clear the, the trailer and the tongue and all of that. So this looks good right here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down at this point. There you go. And the very last thing to the very last thing to install now is going to be the handle. Okay, nice. There you go. Okay, so that concludes our installation and I will leave the links down below where you can go buy this on Amazon. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave me those comments down below. And as always, I'll get back to you. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.